as I said in the previous video now we'll see the software testing terminology where uh, you know we will see what is an error what is a bug can I call fault instead of a bug Fa what is a failure all that we'll be seeing okay so I'll start with error and then we'll move on to fault and then we'll move on to failure okay so what do you mean by an error error is nothing but a mistake that is a programmer when developing a software he can make mistakes um, a person who is uh, writing the specifications he can misunderstand the customer requirement and can record the requirements and make some mistakes in it while designing there can be misunderstandings and design may go wrong that design can be used to develop a software which will have wrong requirements specified designs that are incorrect so all these will actually amplify when the software development happens on top of it you can see the developers making mistakes like i'll give you a simple example where um, say we have uh, a while loop that is written by the programmer so accidentally this is a common mistake that programmers make we'll put a semicolon in uh, in unnecessary places so this is not actually a syntax error it will not give a syntax error because it is completely okay to put semicolon after a while loop it will be a self loop right it will keep on looping uh, but it will not go to the program body or uh, while passing arguments uh, like say uh, So arguments if I am passing, what if I pass the wrong arguments um, from one, one module to another while integrating uh, two modules. I wrote one module and uh, from that module I am supposed to pass uh, say account creation in a bank and uh, while the customer deposits some amount the, uh, Emma, the um, balance in the account should be modified or while the customer withdraws some amount the balance in the amount uh, the account should be modified so whatever the amount is that value should be passed to that particular function or module what if i pass the wrong argument then it will give a wrong result so these are some of the errors that the uh, that the programmer or developer can make so during the development process these are some of the errors that can happen or that can be made by that can happen during the process okay so you see error can happen because of various reasons and we cannot prevent errors uh, someone can misunderstand the specification or we can pass wrong arguments we can have typographic mistakes so error is a common term that we use for the mistakes that humans make during the entire development process so whatever be the reason the error can result in a bug okay so if that means there is some problem in our software system due to the error of the human and the error may result so that because of the error a bug will be there in the software system and the bug may lead to failure of the software system okay so this is how uh, the chronology is okay i hope it is clear uh, so once uh, this uh, results in a failure so what happens so we try to execute the program then it this uh, because there is error this is not executing properly 
then the program may fail uh, then uh, when we go back and try to see what the problem is then we may understand okay we put the semicolon in while loop and all that okay so basically the while body of while was not getting executed and that is what our defect is so we have a defect or bug or fault as we call it will be the result of the error okay so basically fault happens because there exists error in our program and uh, if we see uh, you know uh, uh, fault bug or all that can be because of uh, error of omission or error of commission okay we call it faults of commission or faults of omission fault of omission is nothing but we uh, try to uh, we fail to represent everything what uh, we are supposed to represent fault of omission fault of commission so now we will see what exactly this is so um, error of omission is uh, like something is missing that should be present say uh, when we are trying to uh, write the specifications down uh, we we uh, missed some specifications that was given by the uh, or requirement that was given by the uh, customer that is fault of omission now fault of commission uh, is when we want to represent something but we represent it in an incorrect way okay uh, so that is what uh, fault of commission is so these are the two types of faults so these uh, faults occur because of the error because people make error now uh, fault of omission is a bit more difficult to resolve why because we uh, didn't first of all know that we are supposed to include it or we uh, the customer didn't say it properly or we failed to understand it whatever be the thing we didn't represent it properly uh, we we didn't know that it was supposed to be included in the software system okay now uh, once this is done so as i told um, because of the presence of um, of a bug in our software system the system can fail so when a fail uh, when can we say a failure occurs we can say that a fail that the software system failed when the code that is associated with the fault or the bug executes okay then we can say that the software system failed that is as i have told here um, i have passed the wrong argument instead of passing the balance or the current amount that is there in my account uh, the um, software system has passed the initial amount that i deposited then that will be the argument that is passed right so whenever i am trying to deposit the uh, the uh, deposit some money to my account a wrong argument is passed then the software will fail because obviously uh, the uh, whatever the bug that is there that is getting executed okay i hope the concept is clear now um here when it comes to failure there are various scenarios that is uh, what if you know the error is there in the source code that is in the loaded object code or what uh, how how will we deal with the errors the, uh, the with the failure that arises because of the faults of commission then how can we actually find out or represent uh, failures when it comes to faults of omission because faults of omission is something uh, or how will we figure out 
the uh, the uh, failures corresponds to faults of comm omission then what if uh, there are some bugs that are there that is not resulting in a failure for a long time during the entire testing time it is not resulting in a failure what will happen how will we find out right so these are some of the um, cases that we will need to address okay now moving on we will see what is a test case so test case is basically um, it is associated with the program behavior so test case um, will uh, try to establish if a software or if a functionality is working correctly or not that is what a test case is so when we execute some program features then we will um, try to see if that features are working correctly or not and the test case will um, will depict that whether it is working correctly or not yeah. a test case so will be a documented procedure which we will be using to test the functionality of the software system okay uh, so a test case will have test case id uh, and uh, it will actually um, specify or it is actually associated with program behaviors so what uh, or why do we need to design a test case basically in uh, to find errors in the system and that is why uh, we will have it properly documented i hope you remember we discussed that a test should be replicated we should be able to redo it and get the same result that is why we have to design the test cases accordingly so you see there are various uh, various uh, features that is associated with a test case which is first of all an id then a purpose that is why we are designing this and preconditions are we uh, having any in uh, any uh, in any preconditions that needs to be uh, there while testing that feature then uh, another thing is inputs what are the inputs that we need to give in order to test that particular functionality then expected output so these are some of the features that the, some of the fields that will be there in our test case now moving on what do you mean by a test where test where is nothing but the documents that we create you during the uh, testing activity so there will be uh, documents associated that is the entire procedures what are the test engineers that is working on what are the test plans test specifications and reports all that is documented all those associated documents uh, um, associated with a software system is called a testware and now moving on we have something called incident what do you mean by an incident if a software system uh, fail to respond in a way that it is supposed to behave then we can say that it failed okay uh, so basically if an incident happens that means that you know there is an it is associated with a failure so whenever a failure occurs that whenever a failure occurs then we can say that yes an incident um, that is uh, it is an incident then uh, next is test oracle test oracle is uh, to judge whether you know our test is a success or a failure that is we will try to say whether uh, say the correctness of the system from the test that is what test oracle is so this is all about software testing terminology i hope um, it is clear